Hey! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you've never been here before. I have been planning on filming this video and posting it since the first episode of season two of Euphoria came out, and I wanted to wait until I had like a good amount of nails to do. In the first episode, I got all of the nails that I wanted to do. A bunch of stuff happened in my life where I couldn't like sit down and do nails, and so I ended up doing all these nails in like two days. But I finally have finished filming. I don't have Euphoria nails on now because this is already another nail video that will be posted right after that but yeah so we're gonna be recreating nails that were in euphoria we're gonna be recreating maddie's nails cassie's nails and cat's nails like always everything in the video is going to be linked in the description majority of my products are from amazon and i try and get products that are cheap but good quality so more of you guys can get them the first nails that we are going to start off with are maddie's nails and they are these they're kind of more square nails with this like black design on it. I don't really know what to call these. They're definitely unique. I, I just have to say this really quickly. Don't worry. We're gonna get into the nail video, but I have to say this quickly because I thought it was really funny. So in my last nail video, I posted a Valentine's Day nail video. I pinned a comment and I was like, Euphoria nails next question mark, just to like get you guys ready and to see if you guys would actually want that. And someone commented, yes, but don't do the pad nails. And I was like, what? And then I put it together these nails do they look like a like a panty liner and i can't unsee it i cannot unsee it so i just had to point that out because i thought that was really funny anyways we are going to be doing these nails the creator of these nails i will put her at right here this is where i got all of the close-up pictures of the nails she does amazing work thank you queen for creating these amazing euphoria nails we love you all right off to the video. All right, so you want to start out with your nails prepped. I don't show the whole process because I'm coming out with a video on everything to know about Gelex nails soon. For this look, I just used these long coffin nails. I've been using the Beatles gel for these. I literally think the Beatles gel is better than the Apres gel. I like it so much better. And to cure these, I'm using a gooseneck lamp, which really, really helps because it's not in the way and it's super easy and quick to cure them. So I'm going to do that to all of my nails. And then I'm going to cure all of them again in a big UV light for 60 seconds just to really make sure the gel is cured. And these were a little bit too long for the look so I'm taking my nail cutters and trimming them a bit and just filing them to make sure there's no rough edges or anything. I'm taking this milky color and doing two coats of that on all of my nails. Curing it for 30 seconds each time. And now using some black nail polish and a long skinny nail art brush, I'm going to just, I'm going to line out this design and then slowly fill it in. And I messed up in a few spots and it's super easy to fix. You just take a brush with a little bit of acetone on it and you just fix your mistake. And after I finish with the design, I cure that for 30 seconds. I go in with a top coat on all of my nails. Cure that for a final of 60 seconds. I'm wiping down all my nails with some rubbing alcohol to get rid of the stickiness from the top coat. And of course, taking some cuticle oil just to add all that moisture back into our cuticles. I am including this part because I have been getting a lot of questions if you can paint the nails before you apply them. I have these little stands right here and it comes with these little pieces of like clay. You make sure your nails fit. You take the clay and stick them on these little stands. You do every single one of the steps that I already did. I trimmed the nails, I file them. I take the milky pink color and do two coats of that. And then I do the same exact design. I take my gel, I apply it the same way that I did the other nails, 
and you just want to be super careful it doesn't squirt out around your cuticles or underneath your nail and then I don't know why I did this out of frame I put the top coat on afterwards and then I cure all of my nails rubbing it down with rubbing alcohol I feel like these came out pretty spot on and were not difficult like whatsoever next we have cassie's nails and you know me and cassie have beef right now if you're watching euphoria bro what is what is go what is cassie thinking every decision she is making she needs help anyways these nails are so freaking cute i've seen them all over pinterest a bunch of people recreating them these were so cheap to do but like such good quality and they're so freaking simple like a light see-through pink color with rhinestones in the middle that's literally it. I'm gonna show you how to do those. All right, so starting off with some medium almond shaped nails. I love these, they're super strong and super cheap for the amount of nails you're getting and they're really good quality. So you wanna make sure your nails fit before you put them on. You're gonna take your, apply a thin coat to that and then glob a little bit more on the edge. Start at the cuticle and slowly push down so there's no air bubbles and curing it. the big UV light just to make sure they're all cured and I'm taking a crystal nail file just because it's a little bit more gentle just filing them because sometimes there can be like little like sharp parts on the very tips of them so just making sure they're super smooth taking this sheer pink color and applying one coat of that on all of my nails curing that for 30 seconds and then taking this milkier pink color and doing one coat on top of that on all of my nails Curing that for another 30 seconds. I'm gonna be taking some hard gel, and I like the IBD hard gel for this. And I'm just gonna take a dotting tool and do four dots down the middle of where I'm going to apply the rhinestones. And I got these rhinestones off Amazon. They were super cheap, but they're like super sparkly and really good quality. So in the pictures, it shows a gradient of the biggest rhinestone near the cuticle to the smallest rhinestone to the tip of the nail. And then I cure that for 30 seconds. I'm gonna take my top coat and try and avoid the tops of the rhinestones and go like around them because it helps them to shine more if you don't go directly on top of them. And doing a final cure of 60 seconds. My nails have been struggling recently because I've been doing so many nail looks. This daily keratin treatment for my nails honestly helps them so much. I put that on all my nails. I love how these turned out. These might be my favorite just because they're so pretty. I, I love these. We're off to cat's nails. These look way more difficult than they actually are to do, but these are so unique. I love how this turned out. Also in the show, I love how they match the dress that she's wearing. These are like a friendship with like swirled in colors of like pink and neon green with the French tip outlined like around the cuticle in like a purple metallic -y color. And this is going to be the last look of this video. Starting out with some long coffin nails and just applying those like we always do to all of our nails. making sure they are cured. I'm gonna take this nude peachyish color and do two coats of that on every single one of my nails. For 30 seconds to get the French tip color I actually mixed this like aqua greenish blue color and a dark forest green because both of them weren't like exactly what it needed and I use my long nail art brush to just etch out a French tip and I use the actual nail polish brush to fill it in And I do two coats of that to make sure it's opaque. Bye.
but for the second coat, I do not cure it. I'm going to be taking a neon green and a neon pink and using a dotting tool, just kind of globbing on that color and then just swirling it around into the green color we used for the French tip. So you wanna cure that and really make sure you cure it because if you don't, then you're gonna ruin the beautiful design. Taking this sparkly metallic -y purple color, I'm going to outline the French tip and bring it down around my cuticle and then curing it for 30 seconds, going in with a top coat on all of my nails. Doing a final cure of 60 seconds. Wiping it down with rubbing alcohol. And of course, our cuticle oil. I love these so much. These came out so much better than I thought. Like, I'm low-key really proud of myself for these. They look intimidating when you first see them, but they were honestly so easy. That is it for this video. I already have started filming Euphoria Nails Part 2. I will be doing all the nails that are in Euphoria pretty much. Next nail video though is going to be everything to know about Jellix nails, how to get them to last, everything. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye! I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. My life breaks the scales, hand in hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gon' throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gon' get my drug use more dosage. Like I damn baby girl, I damn.